not, I do not have to have her driver's license to drive a car. I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. You are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. Excuse me? You call somebody for Santa Rosa County Jail. You're under arrest. I'm Driving on a public road is not as easy as it seems to be. There are rules and regulations that one has to follow. What's going on? Face away from me. Okay. Registered under the vehicle, which is you, is suspended for DUI. Okay. One's eligibility to drive is determined by the license they are issued. But what happens when people think they know better and drive without a valid license? There's weed in the car. Oh, that's right. You could check me. If you want, you could, you could test but there's, me. But there's weed in the car. From someone giving out a fake name to someone refusing to acknowledge any wrongdoing, here are some incidents when driving without license turns into nightmares. You have anything on you? Just, you should have. I don't even have pockets on Okay. The incident revolved around a woman. On August 23rd, 2023, in Lake County, Florida, the police initiated a traffic stop after they detected the suspect's driver's license was suspended. Soon, they began an investigation. The police approached the woman and took the appropriate action for her misconduct. If the police suspect anything nefarious at play, the law allows them to investigate further. Did something similar happen here? Because I don't have a license for okay. a second. Is it because it's suspended? Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay, go ahead, step it up for me. Face away. What was that? Go ahead, it's coming out. Okay, okay. Are you doing something? What's going on? Face away from me. Okay. okay. The reason for the stop is registered under the vehicle, which is you, is suspended for DUI. Okay. So you're being placed under arrest for driving on suspended license for DUI. Hold well, on, but I was, I got the, um, uh, the, what is it called? Hardship? Yeah. Do you have it on you? No, I don't. They, I never got it. Was it supposed to come in the mail? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm confused. Okay, thank so, you. Okay, I'm confused though. Yeah, like, I have the driver's thing. Can I ask them, why did you pull me over initially? Of course, she's my driver. Can you run her, please? You have anything on you? Just, you should have? I don't even have pockets on. Okay. Have a seat. Okay. This is like cut in my arm. Okay. I'll, I'll fix it in a minute. Okay. Can I ask why you initially pulled me over? Because the registered owner of the vehicle, which is you, is suspended. Okay. So you're driving on a suspended license. That's why I stopped you. But how would you know that I was driving? I ran the tag. When you went by, Okay. I saw you in the driver's seat. So how does, but I applied for it. And okay, they did not issue it. The officer elucidated the circumstances to the woman, outlining the forthcoming legal proceedings with precision and clarity. There's a lot of, no, there's a lot of shorthand jargon in there that I'm not familiar with. So I called our DUI expert and she reviewed the same thing I was looking at. And she told me that so you have no license, it's suspended for DUI. 19, 15, late. White female, 10, 15, 10, 12, 51 LCJ, 65 by starting. 99535. What did that mean? Where was that? Read your eligible, which means if you go in and get it, you have to apply. But you're eligible, doesn't mean it's issued. You mean you are allowed to go get it? Where was that supposed to go? I don't know. Me either. I, 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 I'm not the one having to get a hardship, so I don't know. They, they should have given you all that information with the DUI packet in Polk County. I don't know what information they gave you because I don't work for Polk County. I wasn't there, so I don't know what they gave you. I didn't get anything. So. They should have gave you. They should have gave you that information. You'll, you'll have you'll have to appear in front of the judge. You have a court date, September twelfth, at eight o'clock in the morning, Lake County Courthouse. You appear in front of the judge. Explain to him why you're driving on a suspended license, because at the time of the stop, your license is, is suspended, and you do not have an, a, a hardship issued for the computer for what we, we saw. So explain to the judge. Take all paperwork in, uh, dates, names, whatever you have. Explain to the judge what you believed to have occurred. Explain the situation, and he'll make a determination to either uphold the citation 
or dismiss it. But I can only go on what is presented to me at the time and what I've, what's presented to me is everything says your license is suspended without a hardship issue. So. That's the part that gets me because it says that it was approved. And if that's an error with the DMV and they never updated it, then that's an error with the DMV. But I can't see that's an error. So that would be an issue you take up with the judge and the DMV. Right. No, no, I understand it's not you. You're doing your job. I totally get it. And I'm not. But I just, my confusion is that I didn't understand missing something somewhere or something. Because it tells you that the hardship was approved. That tells me you're eligible for a hardship. Eligible. So I don't see, I don't understand what that means. It means you're, it means you're eligible. Some people, after, after like the 10th DUI, they're not eligible to get a hardship license. They're not allowed to have one. Right. No. So I. You are eligible, which means you go in. You, you have the, uh, you have the ability to receive one. You're eligible to receive it. Right. You're not automatically denied. No, I. So. so I did that part. No, that's what I'm saying. Because I did that part. I had okay. to sign up for the DUI class and prove that I was signed up for it, and then go and pay it. in front of a hearing, uh, uh, a review board, before they'll give you a license. That was inside the DMV. I had to go into the DMV. And uh, the thing in, there was a place inside the DMV in Orange County. Okay. The woman was charged with driving on a suspended license. While the woman was reluctant at first to reveal the truth, our next individual did not hesitate to tell the officers about her license. Yes. The incident revolved around a woman. On the 15th of January, 2024, in Groveland, Florida, the police officer sensed something was wrong and approached the vehicle at the gas station. Soon after, the cop started a conversation with the driver. The police approached the woman and her misconduct was proven right away. During the questioning, she failed to provide any appropriate answer. What transpired after that? Let's check it out. You got your license registration for insurance. So the reason why I'm stopping you is uh, your registration is expired on this vehicle. Are you serious? Last month it expired. Okay, I didn't Look at know you. That. Your I, license. I don't have it. You don't have I don't no. have a license. You don't have a license. No. Okay, so why are you driving? Because I had to go to work and I'm behind on bills and my husband is working and I had to go to work and I'm behind on bills and so I drove and then I got sick home because I'm sick. Okay, so I don't take you sick because you're out what, open the window. What's your what's your social type on Okay, so I have your step out of the vehicle, okay? Yes, you will be going to jail. Can I let my husband know? I will call him. Is he on the phone? Yes. Okay. So I'm having you step out. Put on speaker. Relax. 
Okay. I'm gonna walk you back here real quick, mm -hmm. and then I'll talk to him, and I'll turn off the vehicle. Can you just grab the phone up and hang up with me? Because he's yeah. at work at the same time. I told you where the car was, okay? So I have to go, and I'll call you whenever I can. Love you. Bye. What what jail am I gonna be? You're gonna be at the Lake County Detention Center today, okay? Lake County Tavares? Yes, sir. Can you her out today? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Can you, wait, 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 can you explain to him exactly where the car is? Because I don't really know. I, we just moved here, so. Yeah. So maybe it's back here. Okay. Okay. Can you get my bag before you leave so I have a great So that's where the car's going to be, and you can pick it up from there, right? It's connected to the Bluetooth again. Just put it, yeah, that, that might be nothing. You have to put it up to your ear. Can you hear me? Okay, so it's going to be at the Shell gas station on State Road 50. So the phone keeps connected to the Bluetooth in the car. Seemingly, this was not the first misconduct by the woman. Besides, she also received the outcome of it. When the cop asked her about it, what was her response? Did she feel guilty about this? So you check David, she's ID card only, so I checked David and she's got a, pre a previous arrest in Lake County for driving without a license. So the driver. Uh, it, it, it happened. So the um, the driver for this is on his way to come get it. He says it's five minutes out of the road and I got the key. Oh, I'll hold on to the keys. So I don't know if you want to have to take wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for you. I got the key. Okay. And uh, I'll move so you can. Uh, This is everything that's going right here first? Yes. So what's, what's in here? There's nothing. Nothing in here? Okay, because I want you to get introduction of contraband or we go inside there and there's nothing in here. There's Tylenol. Huh? There's a Tylenol. Tylenol. So if you've been arrested before... I've been arrested before. Yeah, driving without a license. So why do you keep driving without a license if you're arrested? Well, I wasn't arrested for it last time. I was just giving a quote. Oh, okay. But um, it's just worth trying. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to put this all in the back so it doesn't slide around. Before I actually go, and like, because when I went to jail last time, it was in uh, Polk County, and you were able to call people in book Is that how it works? The yes. So the same way as Polk County, you get bolt, you get booked in. Once you get fingerprinted and take a picture and everything, you go in a cell and you make a phone call and you um, be able to find out. Before I actually go, and then, like, can I, can I because we just got our numbers changed and I don't know what's going on. They'll, they'll, yeah. yeah. So in the beginning stages of it, they'll allow you to go through your phone and get all your numbers out. So you'll have it before you go in to start making your phone calls. Okay, okay. Oh. thank you. The 
woman was charged and arrested for driving without a license. While the woman was at least truthful about her situation, our next individual tried to run away from the cops in a bid to avoid facing consequences. I promise you on my kids, on my sons, on my dad, uncle, I promise you, you guys are not, okay. this don't got nothing to do so with me. So explain to me again. The incident revolves around a woman named Tamara. On May 18th, 2023, around midnight in Cocoa Beach, Florida, officers noticed a girl speeding in a car and refusing to stop. One officer tried to stop her for a broken tag light. Another officer stopped the car a few blocks away. Then the officers started investigating the situation. People often do not want to face the consequences of their actions, especially if it involves breaking the law. However, little do they know that trying to get rid of officers is easier said than done. Put your hands here. The first one is it. Wait, why am I getting this one? I feel like I'm now about seven. You get arrested for like two weeks. Two. Did you get arrested the other week? No, I did not. No? No. Definitely not. They're not going to be around <laughs> two to ten. Well, you're being detained because you're in a car that ran away from me. You understand that? I told her not. You told her not to? Okay. Well, let's come over here and let's talk. Okay. You're here. Matter of fact, here, have a seat. You don't got anything on you, right? No, I don't at all. Okay. Have a seat, and I'll come back and talk to you shortly. Owned by a bridge craft except in Coruscant, Arizona. On the floor, had with a no DL on the tech 39 curvature. Oh, uh, was it? We're going to be out at 110 uh, West Bay Drive. The tenants are like sirens. I could smell like 35 coming out when I was behind them, but the plate was uh, flapping up like this. Yeah. I couldn't freaking read it. Well, as soon as I detained her, she immediately said she wasn't the one driving. Who? This one? Yeah. Was she saying that this one was driving? She didn't say anything further. Okay. That, that was all she said. Well, I'm just going to get the other one and dime her out then. So I wasn't, I wasn't going to around out of yet or anything. I was waiting to let you know all that, try to find IDs and go from there. The car's not signal 10? No, I'm unregistered. Uh, Bullard is convinced that that passenger is the one that had one of the ones with the fake Texas tag. Right, yeah, whatever they had, they friggin'. It's possible. Well, they did, they ditched whatever. It was just probably weed. You can see it there, you can smell it. Right here. You said they were juveniles? Was it running when you pulled up? It was off. Did they hit anything? Is that coming in here? Uh, middle. You said they were in. No, good. She can go to big boy jail then. Big girl. You're yeah. anyway. Same difference. All right. Well, let's get a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to a passenger first. And we'll go from there. They're just pulled over here on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I was sneaking around from that way. I immediately seen the AD and I whipped over in front of him. Where's this thing? Chrysler. I knew it. In 54, I'm gonna pull her out and talk to her now. The police often receive dubious information from the suspects. To try to avoid trouble, the suspects play tricks on the police in the hopes of deceiving them. Did something similar happen here? Hey, hold on. Why are they? Come over here. We're gonna talk. First, I gotta figure out who you are. Yeah, that's fine. Stop, I have right my here. ID. Where is it? It's in my bag if you want to come get it. In your bag where? So in the back seat is a burgundy bag with a pink little bag because I work at Dancers Royal. Um, 
It's a pink little bag and it has my ID, my bank card and stuff. Okay. What's your first name? J U. Okay. A N A. Yeah? O-Q-U. I wasn't driving this time because I know I got court coming up. Okay, hold on. Finish finish on your name. O-Q-U. E-N. D-O. Okay, what's your middle initial? Z. And what's your birthday? I don't want to go to jail like that. 39 Kirby. Not over this. I wasn't driving. 27, 29 out of... Florida and date of birth. You have a Florida license? No, baby, I'm Florida ID. You know, out here. What's what state's your ID from? Um, Connecticut. And correction, it's going to be out of Connecticut. <laughs> First name, Juliet Uniform, Alpha, November, Alpha, Middle Zulu, Last Oscar, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, November, Delta, Oscar, mm. date of birth. Hispanic female? I thought it was a driver so in trouble, nothing. Wanna? Yeah. Right? Alright. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney with you prior to, during, or after any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney and desire one, the court will appoint one for you. You may stop questioning at any time by refusing to answer any further or, re or by requesting to consult with an attorney. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you want to speak to me? Yeah. Okay. I do, honestly. So you're saying you weren't driving? I'm not driving, okay. honey. So what happened when I got behind you? The f on the f speed. I'm so trying to use my language. You can like use that. whatever no, language no, no, you so want. Want to stay over here, please? I'm very professional. Like I'm so sorry. I, I know you guys are. Cops. I don't care on the language. But I'm so gonna be what happened when you. I got behind you and I put my lights in? Nothing. Tire on. What did she do? She just spat it up. Why? And I told her, pull over. Why? Why I don't did she know run? why, because there's nothing in the goddamn car. There's weed in the car? Oh, that's right. You could check me. If you want, you could you could test but there's, me. But there's weed in the car, because okay. I could smell it when I was driving So, baby, you. you know what? Then that's not my fault, because okay. I don't smoke. Well, you could test me, My honey. question is, why is that why she's running? Probably, because she didn't want to stop weed? after I told her to freaking stop, because I got kids home. Mm -hmm. Right now, you can call my kids right now. I'm They're not calling home. anybody. But I'm just letting you know, like, I have okay. kids at my house. I only went to Dances Royale. If you want, you can go through my phone. Okay, but want. when I saw you, you you were on the other side of Dancers. You guys were headed south. When I got behind you initially, so I was only going to stop you because that car doesn't have a license plate. And light. that's fine. That's it. That's the you only reason I was right going to stop you. That's Hold on. Job. Let me talk. Okay. And so I was following behind you for a little bit to right. make sure that you didn't have a light. We were north of dancers. You passed dancers. Honey, so you I'm were someplace else. You weren't here. but She's you were following a GPS. You're, but you weren't at dancers. Oh no, I could show you I'm, I was at dancers. I swear to Not God. Not before my I phone. tried to pull you over. Oh no, no, no. When you pulled me over, we were we went into a ham thing because we had to do a U turn. I don't know where she was trying to go. And that's what happened. I don't have my GPS. When did you get arrested mother. here? Was it like two weeks ago? Like, I don't even remember. Because you I had the fake came. Texas tag? Yeah, please. Like, I, I'm trying to do my court. Are we going to keep running into you? Because no, now this no, is the second no. time. I on promise you on my kids, on my sons, on my dad, uncle, I promise you. You guys are not. Okay. This don't got nothing to do so with me. So explain to me again. Well, it does so have something I'm to do with you because you were sitting in the car. I okay? understand and that. You, and but I'm going to say, say straight up in front of both of you guys. She wanted to freaking work at dancers. I work at dancers. How do you know her? I know her from Connecticut. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. If you look her up, she's from Connecticut. Yep, okay. So what happened was, you feel me? I tried to take her, but I wasn't trying to drive. Remember, my car is in pound until this day. Mm -hmm. I got to pay almost $400 because it's still in pound. Yeah. So which my man, my, my, my boyfriend, he's the one who's going to register the car tomorrow. The police are authorized to carry out inquiries whenever they deem it necessary. The law allows them this right. They do this to collect sufficient evidence to resolve the case in accordance with the applicable laws. What's your name? Tamara. Tamara? You already got her 43? Yeah, I've got her uh, decor. Okay. All right, listen, I'm Corporal Ingersoll, okay? 
You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and, be used, can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney with you prior to, during, or after any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney and desire one, the court will appoint one for you. You may stop the questioning at any time by refusing to answer further or requesting to consult with a lawyer. Do you understand? Okay, you want to talk to me? What's the one well, I'm the, I'm the officer that tried to pull you over when you ran. Okay, that was me behind you. Okay? So... You tell me, why do you run? Just because you ain't got no license? And I don't know where the car came from. It was the, I literally just got off the airplane. You, you just got off the airplane? You guys can look up on my tickets and everything. How do you know Wana? She's a friend from Connecticut. From Connecticut. What were you guys doing down here today? I just Where'd you pick her up? Her house. What? Her house? What's the, where is that? In Altamont. In Altamont? Okay. And then you came down here to do what? Strippers. Okay. And where did you go? Did you go and apply today or? Yes. Where? Dancers. Okay. Any place? Any place else? Huh? Any place else or just dancers? No, just dancers. Okay. Where were you going when I tried to pull you over? To Melbourne to turn around. Okay. All the way to Melbourne just well, to turn I, around? I got to turn around. I don't know anything about this way. So I guess it's a one way this way and then one way that way. Okay. So to no, definitely not to, to Definitely not to Melbourne. I understand. You're trying to go where? Back home. Back, back to home. Altamont Spring. Yes. Are you staying with her? Yes. Okay. Um, when I got behind you and I turned the lights on, why didn't you stop? I was freaked out. I was scared. I didn't have my license. Because you have no license. I've been arrested before. Okay. Terrible thing. And what was wrong with the car again? I don't know. You don't know what's I wrong with the car? What, where, where, did, get, where did you get the car? Carlos. Carlos dropped it off to me. Just gave you it? And I paid him three fifty. You paid him three fifty for that for the use of the car for how long? For one week. For one I week. Even had her a whole week. You know Carlos's last name? Man Manuel. Carlos Manuel. Ba Manuel. How do you spell it? Manuel. 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 M A N U E L. U A L. U A L. Yeah. How do you know Carlos? From Connecticut. Do you know Carlos from Connecticut too? Mm -hmm. And is that what he does? He gets people cars. He does the rent. He buys them, in the, I think, at the auctions, and then puts them for rentals. Okay. Where's he? Where's he stay at? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Did he have drugs in the car? I had a little bit of weed. A little bit of weed. Okay. And you don't have a license. I have a Connecticut marijuana license. No, you don't have a driver's license. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Stay in the car. That's easy enough. She's, um, I'm going to 15 her. I'm going to release her. Tamara was charged with fleeing. No driver's license and no vehicle registration. Afterward, she was released from jail on a $50,000 surety bond. While Tamara needlessly escalated her situation, our next individual refused to even acknowledge any wrongdoing on her part. You are being legally stopped on a traffic stop. You are not being cooperative. It is not a Terry stop. What Trust me, I know the difference. You're speeding. The incident is centered around a woman. On January 17th, 2022 in Gulf Breeze, Florida, an officer was conducting a routine patrol. He noticed that a woman driving a car was speeding whose license plate registration expired as of October 2021. The officer initiated a traffic stop within a CVS parking lot. More often than not, suspects catch the eye of law enforcement due to their carelessness. Afterwards, suspects may try to manipulate the police to ensure that the punishment for their offense is minimal. Did something similar happen here? Lady. Officer Banks, Gulf Breeze Police Department. I'm pulling you over. You're doing 54 and a 35. Any reason for that speed tonight? Where's the 35? Uh, before you got off the bridge. And uh, as soon as you came off the bridge, all this is 35. I was going 40, I thought. No. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yeah, actually, yes, you do. You do not? 15-7, 41 with me. Ma'am, step out the vehicle. Step out the vehicle. You, you, yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, I know my rights. Either you step out the vehicle, or I will remove you from the vehicle. I know my rights. Fifteen seven, a sovereign supervisor, right sovereign citizen. Did you hear what I said? You need to get a supervisor on here right now. 
No, you need to step out the vehicle right now. Young lady, right step now. out the vehicle. Okay, right. Step out the vehicle. Last time I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to make you move. step out the vehicle. You're going to get me a supervisor out here right now. No, you're going to step out the vehicle right now. You are going to get me a supervisor out here right now. That's fine. We, I know my rights. What right is that? I, I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a car. I am not, this is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I know my rights. Okay. That, Very well. That's what you want to stick with? Call a supervisor. Right okay. Now. All right. Right now. Or else what? I know my rights. If I don't call a supervisor, or else what? I guess we're not going to go anywhere then. Hey, okay. Thing, so just hold it for me and go and give me the channel. You need to get a supervisor out of here. Yeah, our channel will be 1033. That can, that can do. Educate you on what the law is. Okay. He's, he could educate me on what the law is. What, so you, do you have an ID or you have a driver's license? I, no, I don't have a driver's license on me. Okay. Do you have one issued to you? Uh, in Mississippi. In Mississippi. So, why would you need a driver's license to drive on the road if you don't need a license? That was years ago. Oh, so what year is this? What year was the ID issued? 2997. You hope it is? I really do, yes I do. Okay. What is your name and badge number? I already told you my name, it's Officer uh, Banks. I didn't. And I, what is your badge number? It's Officer Banks. Are you failing to, to... Are you failing to give me your driver's license? I don't have to give you a driver's license to drive a car. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Okay. I have all the laws back here. Okay. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I am I'm traveling. I don't, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. In what state is that? Any state. It's common law. Natural law. Okay. Constitutional law. Okay. You need to get a supervisor out here. I do? Yes. Okay. So what I am what law requesting your supervisor? So just like I'm requesting your driver's license. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. Sorry, Turner. A she won't identify, she won't produce a driver's are you, license. Are you the She's doing fifty eight. Yes. Okay. I and do not it, have let, to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Let, let, let my officer speak first, then I'll speak to you. Her vehicle stopped for speeding. 54 and 35 coming off the bridge. She asked me where the speed limit was saying that. It's before she got off the bridge. She actually did a U-turn. We were in the 35 zone. Mm -hmm. We pull over here. I introduced myself. I said, the reason, any reason why we're driving this fast? And I said, you got your license. She immediately goes into, I don't need a license to drive the vehicle. Okay. And then she said, I am traveling. Okay. So, you do need a license to drive the vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. Well, you're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural law. I don't law, care about common law. law. You're in the state I know of Florida. That you don't. You're in the you're state of Florida. Law. You're in the state it of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state. It I'm does in. matter. I'm in the U.S. It does matter. So you better hope the information you gave us comes back as to being you. So at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're going to get out of the car. I haven't been suspected of a crime. You are being legally stopped on a traffic stop. You are not being cooperative. It is not a Terry stop. What Trust me, I know the difference. Off? You're speeding. speeding. Turn the vehicle the off and get out of the car. Out of the car now. Undo the seatbelt. Turn the vehicle off. Turn it off now. Officer Schaefer, unbuckle her. Put all that down. Step out, turn around, face away from me. Turn, on face away Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I have all the laws right there. I don't care what car. I don't care what laws you say you I have. I know that you don't care because you're, then you, you're supposed then to be you, a police officer. Then you should know a that officer. this is that you should know that this conversation's over then. Right, because you don't care about the laws. You don't care about our rights. That's the problem. Hiding facts from the police is a fool's errand. The law allows the cops to look up details about an individual in an instance. However, many people seem to be oblivious to this fact. Excuse me? You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail, you're under arrest. I, I live right down there. Where's your ID out of, or your license out of? Mississippi. I just thought you didn't have one. You Sir, just said you don't need one. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It, We're yes, not going to play is. any of these games with you tonight. It's not a game. This is my rights as a, it's not as a your citizen. Rights. It's not your rights. Yes, it is. No, it's not. 
You're in the state of Florida. The state of Florida requires you to have a driver's no, license it, to operate a motor no, vehicle. Sir, it, it doesn't doesn't matter what state I'm in. See, that's your problem, is you say it doesn't matter, but it does. I have in been this country, in it my does. Car. I don't care about what laws you sir, say you have. You should care about the I laws don't, and the rights but of citizens. I, you're a we know officer. your rights. We know your rights. No, you don't. You don't know, know your right. rights. Yes, no, I do. you don't. Yes, I do. Because if you knew your rights, you knew or you would know and should know that you must have a driver's license I, to operate a motor vehicle. And I've if I find out that cops. you, if you find, if I find out that you are not giving us the right information I, to identify I you, the right information. Why would you, I do that? I'm, I'm trying to use my rights as a legal citizen. Why, why would, I would I do you that? do that? Well, you would do that because you don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have to have a valid driver's license. You do. No, I do not. Okay. I do not. Then we'll let the judge determine that. We will let the. <laughs> You, you can't arrest me. I haven't done anything wrong. We can't arrest you. you. No, you can't. If you don't have a valid driver's license, we most certainly can. Can I please call my no, mother? No, you cannot. Why? Because you don't need to call you. Are you an adult? Yes. Then why do you need to call your mother? To come and get me from jail since I'm being illegally detained. You, you will be able to call her once you get there. Can I at least lock my car? We will make sure it is secure. What are you gonna do with my car? Probably tow it. Why? Because you are driving without a license. I don't have to have a license to okay. drive. That is commercial driving. It is not commercial driving. Yes, it is. Okay. Ma'am, I'm so telling I'm you right now. No, 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 stop. I'm telling you, didn't f this off. I, I okay. obviously have, because y'all are no. detaining me illegally. No, you're, you're being arrested, is what's happening. And you have not us off we are doing our job no, whether you agree not. or not doesn't matter it's you're, a mute point orders from the top you don't know your you don't know the, the laws and the rights law is we law do. is law is we, we do. law we do sergeant turner and and in this country what laws do we follow canon law y'all follow canon law we follow the rest natural of law who is we law. who is we who is we tell me who we is police officers no police officers, officers. We, we are police officers. We're not peace officers, we're police officers. Yes, I know that now. When suspects become well-versed in all aspects of the law, they often engage in unexpected behaviors. In this instance, the police discovered something suspicious in the woman's car, leaving them astonished. Fifteen golf breeze. Even though you sent the warrant, stand by. Excuse me. Give me your full name. Give me your full name. Look at me. Give me your full name. Give me your full name. Drugs inside the vehicle. You are under, under arrest now for possession of felony narcotics. I didn't give y'all permission to search my vehicle either. Your vehicle's being towed. We're inventorying it. We're not searching it. Yes, you are. You're searching my vehicle. You say that our laws don't matter to you, so what does it matter? Obviously, I don't have any laws right now. No, there's plenty of laws. You're just breaking them. I don't have to mind laws that, that, aren't, that aren't valid. They're valid laws. They are not valid laws. The United States and the state of Florida seem to think they are. The United States has a constitution mm -hmm. that we, we fall under. Right. Statutes, and, mandates, and, codes. So, None of that matters. So under our constitution, it still gives the gut, the state governments the right to govern themselves, correct? That's right. And the sheriff has all and the power. That's right. That's right. The sheriff does. He is yes, the he, yes. head law enforcement officer. He's not officer. part of NATO. He's not part of the Council on I'm Foreign not, Relations. I'm not part of NATO either. The woman was charged with operating a motor vehicle without a valid license, driving under the influence and possession of cocaine. Her bond was set at $11,500. While the woman was more than meets the eye and tried to hide the extent of her illegal activity, our next individual was at least civil enough to be truthful. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say, Cannon will be used against you in court. 
The incident revolved around a woman named Samantha. On September 19th, 2023, in Naceville, Florida, she was accused of driving a motorcycle with an invalid license. The police located her and began the investigation. The police approached her, probing into her misconduct. Amidst questioning, she openly confessed to past transgressions, which astounded the officer. Given her habitual law-breaking, the cop had no choice but to take stern action. Hello? Samantha? Yeah. Your license is not valid. I was actually on the way to the DMV to turn in my tag right now. You have a seized tag order. You have an endorsement? I'm sorry? You don't have an endorsement either, do you? No. Okay. you have your ID with you? Yeah. And the registration for your motorcycle? I actually don't have the registration. Okay. I didn't want to keep it with me in case it got lit. Do you have any prior suspensions or anything? Not that I know of. Well, when I was in school, I got one for truancy. I don't know if that counts. Can I search your bag? Do you need to? He's asking for consent. No. I'll do what you need this minute. It's a criminal offense also. There you go. Look at you, super cop. Here we go. Isn't that amazing how it worked out with the timing? Is it, I mean, think about it. There she is. <laughs> Whose plate is that? It's mine. The one your other one? To turn in. Okay. Yeah. Well, you want to go ahead and set your phone down and your cigarettes? You can go ahead and turn around for me. For our okay, well, hold on. One second. One, one second. Can I just. Yeah, what do you need? And I have an endorsement. Okay, is there a bond associated with the charges already? No. Is there anything on you? Tell me now. Yeah. I mean, not on all my person, but I mean, yeah. I'm gonna read you something real quick. But you're not inside of my neck, and you're in the AC. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney with you prior to, during, or after any questioning. Yeah, now an afford an attorney, desire one, the court will appoint one for you. You may stop the questioning at any time by refusing to answer further or by requesting to consult with your attorney. Do you understand each of these rights I have explained to you? Yes. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to answer my questions or make any statements at this time? Uh, no, but I'm wondering, so whatever else is on me, is that going to be along with it today? Today or like another... Uh, it depends on what's in there. Like send it to the lab and then come back or what? That's up to you. I don't know. Depends on what it is. Uh, Are you going to answer my question? Like what? Yes or no? Depends on what it is. It's a yes or no question. No. If anybody commits a crime, law enforcement has the right to search his or her belongings along with the person. The same thing happened for Samantha. Put it in property, yeah. I'm going to have to tell the bike. No endorsement. No uh, endorsement. No driver's license. No uh, seized tag order. Oh, really? Yeah. All of those, huh? Yeah, we can relate. Jail won't take it. Yeah, well, uh, 
So the tag's got to come off the motorcycle anyway. Same with the helmet. Watch that. Yeah, that's it. Does she want her? She just want her phone. She wants her phone. She had an improper lane. That's all where you said she did something in front of school. Yeah. Right? Fairly slow, but yeah. I had to guess it was really slow because you were behind her. <laughs> Party. We made eye contact earlier. Right. And I had to go to the other call. And uh, I just so happened to see her again. Well, the lady walked in. I couldn't see any point in y'all being pulled in for that. So some of her questions I couldn't answer. Assuming that. Drop the helmet, book bag. Truckies. They're going to tow the motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, they can go with her. She might get out. Is uh, Smith going to do your tow thing for you? I don't know. They're testing the syringe in the... Oh, no, I know that, but I mean, I hope you're going to so. go back and start work on her. Somebody has to do the tow ball. I'm about to take her up to crust you. Uh -oh. Go straight up there. Yeah, okay. You're not going to let them deal with the 31 for you? No, I'm going to see what it tests and then we'll go. Right, Max, I'm saying you're going to let them deal with dropping it all while you're up there? Yeah. Might well. Yeah. So. They can package it real quick. Oh, yeah. You only want your phone and I guess the phone. key? You want yeah. the truck keys? Okay. What about the, the little wallet over there? Mm -hmm. You want to take it with you or no? Well, he already left, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we're going to put your backpack in the, in the evidence. It's going to be for safekeeping. You can come back to the PD later and get it, or I can take it up to the jail with you. Either way, you're going to have to come back and get your backpack. And the jail won't take it. what they told me. Oh, you want to take this? Uh, yeah. Or leave it in the backpack? That, that and the phone, I guess. And the wallet? Yeah. Thank you for coming. You hop out, she's going to search real quick. Oh, hey.
Mike in here. That was nice. We should do this more often. No, thank you. I appreciate it. You too. Samantha was charged with no motorcycle endorsement and a suspended license. While Samantha was civil throughout the whole ordeal, our next individual tried to pull a fast one on the cops. I don't have a license at all. Okay, so you lied to me in order to try and show that you have a permit. You don't have a license at all. A 22 years old woman takes center stage for our next incident. On January 1st, 2022, in Charlotte County, Florida, an officer noticed the passenger of her vehicle wasn't wearing her seatbelt. The officers immediately conducted a traffic stop. The officers are so proficient in their job that they can understand what suspects are up to. And at this moment, no matter how sweetly or secretly suspects act, the police will remain undeterred. And based on that, the police conducted further investigations. Hello. Hi. How you doing? So I'm Deputy Gank, the Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping you is your passenger doesn't have her seatbelt on. Yeah, so that's why. Um, but if everything's cool, I'll just write you a warning and I'll get you on your way. Yeah. You have your driver's license on you? Uh, no, I don't have it. Can you wipe my name up? Do you have one? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I should be able to do that. Here, do me a favor. When the light goes green, let's go ahead and pull off here so we don't get into an accident or anything, okay. so we're all safe. All right. And I'll follow behind you and we'll deal with it there. All right. Does this open or roll down? Hi. Oh, I'm getting the warning? Like, yeah, you didn't have your seatbelt on, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, you have your driver's license on? I don't have it because I'm from Michigan. I'm visiting. Alrighty, you have a picture of it? No, I think I have like my name and stuff. Oh, okay. Alrighty. You guys have medical marijuana cards? Mm -hmm. Okay, it smells like weed in here. Do people smoke weed in this car? Yeah. Okay, alrighty. Is there anything illegal in the car? No. Okay, alrighty. Um, so what's your first name? My name is Rosa Nixon. Is that R-O-S-A? Yes. What's your birthday, Rosa? September 2001. Alrighty, and you're from where? Michigan. What brings you down here? My mom lives here. Okay, alrighty. Whose car is this? This is my mom's. Oh, okay. right. yeah. So is it just weed in the car, or if it's just weed, I'll, I'll just take it for destruction? No, it... we don't have any other. So who smokes in the car? I didn't, listen, so like I don't care about weed. If there's weed in the car, I literally will take it and put it into evidence for destruction. I know what gets in trouble. Yeah. Okay. So like I. We, like we, it's been smoked in before. Yeah. We were well, to the hospital for a COVID test. Okay. Alrighty. So when was the last time weed was in here? Like yesterday. Okay. There's nothing in your purse. There's nothing in this car. Nothing no. like that. Oh, I didn't bring my first promise. It would be okay if I took a look real quick. Is it okay to hang on to My purse? Yeah, just hang on. Okay. So that's why it smells like weed? My purse does? Yeah, because I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it. See it down there? Oh. Oh, then that's just a little bit. I'm sorry, I didn't even know that was it there. Cool. All right. Well, let's hang out a second. All right. What is this? Is this the stuff? Oh, I'll be able to pull it up. I should be able to do that. Okay. So it's just a little bit. Yeah, like I said, you're I cool with me. No big deal. It. I'll take it, and then I'll just have you sign a receipt as the owner of it, and then I have to take it and put it in for destruction. I don't know. She's old. She has the license, but she, she's driving it. 99th. How old are you? You're over 21, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she's fine then, yeah. She so just she'll have to drive, right? Well, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. How old are you? I'm, how old is she? I'm 22. Okay, and you're how old? I'm 20. Okay. I was just saying because I'm a permit driver. Okay, all right. So I'm going to just bring someone else because it smelled like weed and I see weed. So okay. you guys aren't in trouble or anything like that. I'm just going to take a look through the car in a minute. Okay. 
gave me gives me probable cause to search the car. Again, you guys aren't in trouble. Okay. It's just weed, and you know, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Ready? So in the most relaxed, you know what I mean? You know, it can be stressful, but I'll give you a warning, right? And then you're not getting in trouble for that. Okay? Just give me a sec. 325 Central. 825. Hey, you send me another, please. I, I do have a what is it? Nice time. I'll hang on to the bag. Can I give you a word yet? Timmy and me in Port Charlotte, Is that it? That's all that's in the car, right? <laughs> that's what we thought. I really forgot I had Fans. No one any surprises or anything. I don't want no more either. I mean, is everybody in? Yeah. The taste of truth cannot be masked with bitterness forever. Eventually, the truth will emerge. So you were never issued a actual learner's permit, and you were never issued a actual driver's license, correct? So you have no form of any sort of driving, right? Okay. So you shouldn't be driving at all. Okay. There's no other drug, just a little bit of weed. He told me, oh, no, nothing, just just some weed, right? Yeah, that's okay. That we can work with. A little bit of weed is a little bit of weed. All right, so don't be, don't be nervous about the weed. As long as there's no meth or anything bad like that in the car. Well, I'm just saying, you know, like that's what, that's what, that's what's killing people. That's, that, that's the big thing, you know, so. People put fentanyl and weed now, isn't that crazy? I went to two overdoses yesterday where we were pulling people out of cars. And it happens all the time. Why didn't you ever get a driver's license? I was really because like in Detroit, it was, it's like different. There's certainly something in the like, letter, in the mail saying I had like a permit. But, but they never sent you a permit? That doesn't make any sense. They sent you a letter saying you have a permit, but then they didn't send a permit with it. Okay. So I gotta identify you somehow because there's nothing even nothing even proven that what you're saying is who you are you know what I mean so in order to make sure you don't go to jail because I can't tell who you are I got to figure out who you are somehow that comes back we're gonna, we're gonna make sure you don't got some warrant for some crazy crime in Detroit or wherever right you're just giving us some some random name because nothing nothing's coming back on you even if, even if you were issued a permit there should still be some kind of a... That's my identity. It's my ID. I got it, Ma. Hold on. Ma'am, you're... Are, are you still on speaker? Yeah, that's my mom. I'm gonna just take your phone for a second and kind of, kind of cup it so I get some shade and maybe... Maybe see the ID. Why are you lie to me? Uh, You're who you are. Why'd you lie to me? What's going on? You can't lie about this. You just lied about everything and it's recorded. The dates you wrote me, I didn't write it wrong. You said September, right? I got it written down, actually. I'm gonna go bring it up. Okay, I'm all right. Oh, uh. Now it's time to be honest, because now I'm not in a good mood. That's my little sister. She actually has a life, and I don't have a license at all. Okay, so you lied to me in order to try and show that you have a permit. You don't have a license at all. This is who she actually is. And she lied about her middle name. What's the picture that you sent me? The picture that you sent me is your little sister. This is you. Yeah, she lied to us. I don't have a license. Oh, no. I have to clean my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know if your mom's still on the phone or not. I don't think. 
Yeah. Hello. Is that? This is who she actually is. So she provided me with oh, September 9th, 2001, and the fake middle names. Is there a number on that? Run her by that number, just for dispatch. 325 Central. Can you copy uh, Charlene's actual name that we found? I'm sorry. Uh, I was uh, on the uh, hooking up and looking at the rest of the name. That's going to be an admission. I'm going to call Corey real quick. Well, I'm going to down before we get. Corey's his, his supervisor is calling a sergeant to so yes. run a fire. Bottom line is, you know, you shouldn't be driving. So she's been lying to the past 20 minutes. Yeah, false name to Elio. There's weed in the car. Um, she lied about weed in the car. I found that. She, she's lied the entire time. And uh, yeah. The, no medical marijuana cards. She has an ID card only. Um, and it appears to be suspended or whatever they're saying through dispatch. She's lied the whole time. So a failure to identify and uh, I didn't I didn't look yet. They sent it to my tri tech. That sounds good? Okay, yes sir. I'm sorry, uh Yep. Let me have your phone. Let me have your phone. I want you to drop it. <laughs> Please, I swear I'm so sorry. I'm just. I don't. Oh, no. Well, you lied to me. What you're doing is you weren't lying. I know. I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. You're being cool the whole time. I, uh, about the weed. I didn't chill. know. Uh, I told you right off the rip. Just be chill. I know. I, I'm so. I'm going to tell you. The woman was charged with false ID given to LEO and operating a motor vehicle without a valid license. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.